all right welcome to another video um so you know i just kind of kind of same thing i mold over this at work and i just really wanted to do it so we're gonna we're just gonna go over the pokemon sword and shield expansion pass which the crown of tundra you know if we're gonna watch this whole no we're not hello everyone i'm ishihara yeah. from the pokemon company obviously he's gonna speak but we're not we're not gonna care about that we're actually gonna... Um, this little sort of shield thing, and all of the armor thing. Okay. I think it's, it's not the meat. The meat is the little crown cover. Or the crown cover. I don't know why I keep going to put all of them Oh, did you see that, boys? This trailer goes by so fast. See what I mean? Because you got like this cute, a cute, cool looking little temple looking thing right there. You've got us hiding with someone. See. Yeah, now I was able to go back and you can see the Galarian. Uh. Which one is that? Galarian Moltres? And... Oh, why does your Galarian Zapdos? Which is like a Roadrunner. <laughs> Weird type thing. I like the tree. That's like a flex. Because everybody was complaining about the trees when the game first came out. And they're like, alright, here's a giant freaking red tree. <coughs> Sorry for the cough. Swear I don't have COVID. Just came back from work, so I better not. I mean, that's a little... Yeah, Galarian Slowbro right there, man. Poison Psychic, you know. Um, I watched this Austin John Plays video, and he, like, goes in depth on the actual website. Where, I guess he's getting a signature move, or she, they, they're getting a signature move. And I think it's called Eerie Shot or something? I don't know. I'll link Austin John Plays video down below. That way you can go over, you know, him with the website. I just want to watch the trailer again. It's a nice little environment. Nido King? Queen? Dragonite. Had a king moon. Ooh, this guy. The new, the new legendary. The Crown Tundra. Is he going to be titled the Crown Tundra Pokemon? Or just the Tundra Pokemon or something like that? Because honestly, his head portion does look like a crown. Like an oversized, uh, you know, elaborate crown. But And then of course he has like the Triforce on his necklace bead thing. I don't... He's a weird design, but I like it. Outfits. Zagardo, Crystallium, Tapu's, City Queen, Kingdom, and this is something a lot of people are excited about. The double battle. I think the Lion Star is going to be a lot of I don't. The one thing I'm not sure about this is, um, in Sword, will you see people from Shield that only, like, obviously not battle with them, but battle against them, and vice versa, in Shield, will you see Sword people only? Like, there's two exclusive, uh, gym leaders. You got the Ghost type, I forget their name, and B, who's exclusive to Sword, which is why I recognize them. And then you have the other one. The ice gem, I think. Or, or for me, it's an ice gem. Right? No. For shield, it's an ice gem. For me, it's a rock gem. They're like son and mother or something like that. No, I don't know. 
I think they're further in the area. Maybe it's just here Yeah, it was those two. Yeah, because that one shield is two, so then the third sword. So I'm about to take on the training and the last and guard time. Specifically, I'm going to give us a total of the legendary ones, which means that I'm going to give it to you, so I got away. I'm going to give it to you, so I got away. I think there's only two Golden Legends. Do I have some that would be better? Oh, yeah. Can't pass with you. So does that mean it's gonna be like... So what did you think? Let's take a closer look at the new adventures awaiting you in the gallery. So does that mean it's gonna be like, uh... You... The Crown Tundra has like an open area that's not all snowy, and then... Like the hub part where you always come back to whoever you're you know doing stuff for in the crown tundra isn't like this non snowy area and then you have to keep going back to trekking into this giant snowy area to find all the legendaries and stuff Legends crown tundra Any, who will put you in charge is his yeah, expedition yeah. chief your investigations will take you across snow covered hills and into a pokemon den where you'll reach depths beyond those that Max Raid Battles have taken you to previously. But that's not all that awaits you in the Crown Tundra. Lots of legendary Pokémon call the area home, too. It looks like your adventures in this wintry land will give you an opportunity to obtain every legendary Pokémon that's appeared in the... Yeah, every legendary Pokémon. Yeah... You say from the past games are back. Then why are the new ones there? You see you got Ushiara on the top. <laughs> they have Can Corner and just a little bit below them are the, the Doggos and Eternatus. Those are all like current going. Cause I mean out of all of these, I think the only legendaries I don't have, obviously the Galarian ones. You know, the two Galarian Reggies underneath Ushiara and the three birds and the... I don't even know what to describe it as. <laughs> the Triforce guy. Um, I have all the Tapu... Fin the Tapus. I have all the Tapus. I have Savali, of course. You get one in the main game. I have Necrozma, Lunala, Solgaleo. I have Yvatol. And for Vir Virizian, I have the... Landers, Tornadoes, Thunders, Zekrom, Reshiram, and Kiram. I do not have Xerneas. I just, I don't have a Xerneas. I have Palkia. I don't have Kyogre. I have Lugia and Ho-Oh. I have Groudon. I have Heatran. I have Regigigas. I have Rayquaza. I have all three of the Regis, I have Mewtwo, I have all three of the Legendary Birds, I have all three of the Dog Trio, I have Latios, but I do not have Latios. I have the Emotion Trio, I have Dialga, I have the rest of <clears throat> uh, the Musketeer Trio, along with Verizion over here in the top right corner, on the left pack. Um, and Giratina, so that means out of all these, there's only four I don't have. I don't have Xerneas, I don't have Kyogre, I don't have Latias. What am I forgetting? Oh yeah, Zamazenta. I don't have Zamazenta. I don't have those four. Hopefully I can get a Zamazenta. I, I doubt it. <laughs> I'll have to borrow my brother-in-law's copy in order to get him, I guess. Main series of Pokemon games so far. Many of those legendary Pokemon seem to dwell deep inside a special layer where Dynamax Pokemon are said to lurk. The same layer you can explore during Dynamax adventures. Still prefer gear team. Team up with three other trainers to explore these caves. Pokemon. Battling wild Dynamax Pokemon as you make your way into the depths. So you don't get to just choose one. You as a group have to take more. After adventuring in the Crown Tundra. 
you'll have the opportunity to form a dream team with some of the other trainers you've met in the Gala region but for some red hot battles in the new Galarian Star Tournament. I'm going to turn on this for some people playing. You'll be able to pick a partner from among trainers you've met in Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Diamond. You'll be able to pick a partner from among trainers you've met in Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. And the game's respective expansion. By the way, that's the one guy who's sword exclusive on the right. His name? Don't know it. I, I, sh I should, but I, I don't. Hmm? Tournament. You'll be able to pick a partner from among trainers you've met in Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. <sighs> How do I miss that so easily? I'm so bad at this. So bad at this. Pokey, You'll be able to pick a partner from Pokemon. among trainers you've met in Pokemon Sword or... There we go. Yeah, those two are Sword ex Shield exclusive. The Ghost type and the Ice type. And I think that's the Rock type who's in Sword. It's Mother. Right? But I had no interest in fighting her to begin with. I always wanted to fight the Ghost type trainer, but... Because the Ghost type trainer is actually cool. The Ice type... I could take it or leave it, but honestly, I like Pokemon PC. Shield. And yeah, the game's yeah. respective yeah. expansion passes. The one thing Depending I don't like on who you team up with and who you face in battle, you might glimpse new sides of these familiar Did friends and foes that you didn't like see on your path to becoming champion. We hope you'll enjoy your new adventures what? in the Crown Tundra. Of the Pokemon Sword and yeah, yeah. Empire, yeah, to get the yeah, special yeah, Pikachu yeah, for yourself, yeah. you'll need passwords that will so, soon be revealed. In get your hand on Ash's Pikachu wearing eight different caps. And I've already got my first two. You know, I think it's uh, the bottom two Pikachu on the left and the right, not the one in the middle. <clears throat> And, uh, I guess they will be announced at the, or the codes, because only two of them are out right now, right? And I guess the codes for the rest of the six will be announced at the end of Pokemon Journey episodes, if I'm led to believe. And somebody had, like, this whole list of things, and it, it goes through all out the month of October, like, throughout the entire month of October, I don't think any of them start before or go into November. So by the end of October, just look up the codes and you'll get them. Right now, the two is Pikachu get, but replace the I with a one. And don't worry. I mean, once you hit enter, you will might panic because not all the slots are filled. That's okay. You don't need to fill all the slots. And the other one is I choose you, but replace the I's and O's with ones and zeros. So I choose you is one C H zero zero S E Y zero U. And again, it's not gonna fill all the slots, but that's fine. You'll get your Pikachu. Your Pikachu with partner hat. There's original hat and partner hat are the two Pikachu that are available right now. And the rest of the six will be Unveiled, or the codes will be unveiled throughout October. Various places. You can get the password for your first special mm -hmm. Pikachu starting Pikachu. right now. Place the eye within one. And on the other Enjoy one. your ongoing yeah. adventures with your new yeah. Pikachu friends. Yeah. Next, yeah. we have yeah. some news. Pokemon Go on Meltan. To Pokemon Home. <clears throat> transfer compatibility anyway and it's not out yet but will be done by the end of the year according to this and the big thing of that is Meltan you know getting the Gigantamax Melmetal and so from what I understand about that is if you transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home in Pokemon Go you will receive a mystery gift Meltan right and then I think you transfer that Meltan to Pokemon Home to get a gift in Pokemon Home, which is a Melmetal that is Gigantamaxable in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Right? 
So as long as transferring from Pokemon Go to home is smooth and simple, this whole process will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. You get a gift in Pokemon Go, which is Mel Meltan. You get a gift in Pokemon Home, which is that you have to access through your mobile version and not your Switch version. I don't know why. That, that's, that's so stupid, though. I don't know why you can't access gifts in the Switch version of Pokemon Home. That you have to go on your app version of Pokemon Home to receive it. I don't know. It's a mess. That part is. But this is just literally talking about how to get Gigantamax Melmetal, which will be available once again Pokemon Go transferability to Pokemon Home is up and running which it's not there yet but they say it'll be done by the end of the year and after that yeah e there he is. Mm -hmm. on Meltan to appear on your map in the app you'll also receive a mystery gift in Pokemon Home containing a special Melmetal that is capable wow. of Gigantamaxing. A Melmetal like this hasn't been available until now. Can't Continue your adventures in the Gower region with this special Melmetal and unleash its powerful G-Max move. Standard fish, though. We're planning to have the link between... The only thing left... Is a I'll wrap things up for today by inviting you to have a look. Please enjoy the video. Okay. Volume up. That is just, honestly, that, that whole music video is just so overwhelming. The amount of references, like the cycling of the champions, the cycling of all the uh, starters in that last part with Professor Oak on the screen, the cycling of the Sword and Shield gym leaders leading up to Leon. Um, there's screenshots of... Barry and someone against uh, Hugh and 
God, what's her name? Her American name is Rosa. I don't I don't know why I reckon I remember her Japanese name more. It's like May me M E I which I'm pretty sure it's pronounced May or My Me. Mimi. I don't I don't know. I remember that more than I do Rosa. But yeah, and then, you know, when the quote unquote game protagonists because I'm because uh, they do that where it like makes you think they're two uh separate stories. You know, are you boy or girl? Because it'll show as a boy, and then one second it's it's the girl version, like you know, like making them seem like they're the same person, just different scenarios, and then it, like eh, a little bit over the halfway point, they actually run into each other. And of course, the boy has Pikachu, and the girl has Eevee. Because why not? You know? And just... I remember... It's like when they're walking down the road. And you see the silhouettes on the... Um... The skyscrapers. You see all the protagonists just run through. And at the very end, you just see kind of see Caleb. Like, oh my god. Did I get lost? I better catch up. Ah, it was, it's a beautiful, beautiful music video. I love it. It's a very... It, it it is it rem it reminds me of like a longer anime intro essentially. It really does remind me of like a longer anime intro. It's a it's a very nice and endearing love letter to Pokemon, and it's a catchy song. It's, I'm very tempted to download it. You know, <clears throat> if it ever you know is available to iTunes or something, which I don't know if it is or not already. But anyway. That's the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Oh, that's such a convoluted title. Uh, just call it Pokemon News Roundup. <laughs> Essentially. But, yeah, so that's what's going on with Counter Crown of Tundra. It comes out October 22nd. Right? And then November 6th, you can buy the cartridge that will have it automatically on there. So yeah, you uh, pay full price for a game that we essentially paid seventy or eighty for, depending on where you bought it. Because if you bought it at GameStop for sixty bucks, then yeah, you're paying eighty for the whole experience. If you bought it at Walmart, then odds are you're paying seventy because Walmart Switch games are automatically discounted to fifty dollars. Uh, yeah. 49 98 99 97 somewhere around there so yeah and that's pretty much it october 22nd prepare for the crown of thunder the coldness all throughout october keep an eye out for those pikachu codes if you want pikachus with varieties of hats i'm gonna do it just to do it and you know uh i guess keep an ear out for well as if pokemon home's coming to Pokemon, if Pokemon Home's coming, Pokemon Home's not coming to anywhere. If po when Pokemon Go can go to Pokemon Home, so you know you can get that very, uh, very neat Reggie. Reggie, what am I? Ah, my mind's a little flabbergasted right now. I went, I've, I've worked from midnight to five thirty, so my mind's everywhere. I, I, so with that, it's it's best I end off right now. Hope you have a great day. Remember, you can be the best you can possibly be. If you like the video, like, comment, feel that'd be super special, awesome. Subscribe if you haven't. Do me out, and ta ta, for now.